everyone. Welcome to Joker Outdoors. We got a beautiful day today, so we're going to be uh, doing some uh, work out here on the land. So let's roll. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to introduce you to uh, my new toy. This is the Cub Cadet WST 100 mower trimmer. And let me tell you, I was going to do an unboxing for it, but I was too excited about going down to the bottom of my property and wearing it out. And I'm going to tell you what, it's insane. And I know you can see the blind behind me. And I'm, I don't know if you remember when we put it up. You know, there was nothing in front of here to you know, impede the, what's shot. But now we got all this stuff growing along the edge. And Brian, Brian's my videographer today. Showing that path I just mowed down the, you know, as well as coming down here. So that's what about you looking at it. I mean, it cuts. I was, my, was, my question when I had it was, how low is it going to cut? Because it says it's a trimmer mower, but I wanted to know how far down it'll cut. And after trying it out and looking at it, it cuts as bad as, as good as a riding mower does. But I can take it in places where you can't take a riding mower. So what I'm going to do today, we're going to clear all this out in front of this blind. And we're going to clear out a space, so we're putting a food plot up in the up in that spot where my corn feeder is. So we need to have a clean line of sight to the to the food plot. So that's the plan today. Get that get that done, and then we're going to be cutting some uh, trails down to our stands because uh, it basically looks like that everywhere. You know, this tall, you know, what I don't, I don't even know what kind of grass it is. It just it, it it's waist high already. And we're already we're just in July, so it's gonna keep on growing all through probably September, maybe even October before it starts dying. All right, so let's get started on cutting this thing. Let me show you show you this thing. Now, that's one thing about this thing is when I pulled it out of the box, I put oil in it, I put some gas in it, I pulled the thing and pulled it one time. <laughs> Fire drum. Marshall, tell them what they found. A turtle. Wasn't it a box turtle? I think. As, it, as oh. he was cutting down. What is it? Oh, this has got claws. It's got claws. All right, go take him. Wait, no, it doesn't actually. It doesn't. It's, go, a, it's a piece of. Go take it. No. Go take it. it.
that guys so as you can see right here this is what the foliage did look like beforehand and uh it's about waist high on me and then this is what it looks like after ken hit it with that high wheel front end line trimmer we're actually going to put a food plot down right over here and we're going to start right here and we're going to go all the way up to this pine tree right here across all the way back down to this tree right here maybe come out just a little bit yep, right to, to this other fight to this other pine tree, tree. and, gum. and uh yep. that's where it's going to be at we're going to go all the way down yeah there's a so the field stand is be able to look right over the top of this all the way across I don't know if you can see so there, it. Nah, you can't see it, but there's a field stand right up in there. There's a little small ladder stand. That... It's ac actually on that oak tree right there. It's right up in there. But uh, what was that about? It's 100, 100 yards right here. So it's about 100 yards. Right and uh, So 150 to the all the way to the back side of it. And so, so you know, we're, uh, we're prepping this for the food plot that we're going to do this year um one of y'all boys run over and get that food plot out for me it's in the back seat you'll see it um and so so we're gonna plant it right up and through here as soon as they get me the bag we'll show you what kind of this evolved harvest uh throw and grow food plot that's what we're gonna use we're gonna put it all up and through here right now we're raking it out we're gonna spray this down with some weed killer and uh we're gonna end up we're gonna end up uh coming back out in about a week or two depending on when i'm off and we're gonna uh we're gonna plant everything here's the evolved harvest throw and grow um it's a no-till forage it's 11,000 square foot, about a quarter of an acre. And it has clover, brassica, and tetraploid ryegrass in it. So, um, it should be some really good food plot to put out. There there are a lot of, um, there's a lot of roots out here. So, I mean, you can see there's a root right there. Killing would not be an option here. There's a root right there. Um, a bunch of big rocks. rocks. Look, yeah, rock, man. It, that rock ooh, right that there, you right there, and you know, I, I mean, a lot of this stuff's just buried so far in the ground that it'd kill. It would kill a tiller. So this is where your throw and grow food plot's going to come in at. And uh, we will do another video on that. We're gonna once we get back out here and uh get ready to plant we'll tell you everything we've done you know uh we're, this is just kind of an intro to that uh, it's a two-part video for you guys we primarily wanted to show you that beast right there so while ken was doing this the first thing that popped into my head is this is a poor man's bush hog okay because it was taking all those bushes down now typically in a big field like this you know you some people might say well why don't you just get a bush hog and run through there well well, let me, let me tell you why. I know you go ask that question. Now, that's going to be a question I'm going to go ahead and get you out because I don't have a tractor. That's right. Brian don't have a tractor. That's right. We are, we live in a, uh, I live on two acres. Brian lives on about an acre and a quarter. We don't have no need for a tractor. Now, my son-in-law has a tractor, but unfortunately it's broken right now. So, you know, we are, we were against it. And I have the same kind of crap that grows up behind my house, you know, down and my bottom area and I ain't walked you down there yet to show you what it looks like that's where we got my pigs and everything well we did when the storm came through oh that's true but anyway so i got this for that specific reason so if you're looking for one of these they i got this at tractor supply now i did a lot of shopping around as i always do i shop chop 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 and i looked at review after review and found that this one had the best reviews and it was the least cost so I'm going to leave a link down in the description about this. This is I bought this at Tractor Supply. It was $3.99, but I guarantee you it's the best $3.99 I've ever spent because I don't have to worry about now breaking out the little weed eater to go mow around their yard. I did it yesterday, went around, and as long as you're careful, 
with where the end is, you can take the weeds down right by the house and not even touch the house. So, so it's awesome. So to for those of you who you know live on the small pieces of property like we do and you have no need of a tractor or you don't have the money to buy a tractor buy a bush hog look i watch a lot of hunting shows and i know a lot of those guys whenever they're out prepping for the season to come up and they're getting ready to plant food plots they'll take tractors and stuff out there me and ken we don't have the money for that stuff we do however have the funds to get something like this because a 300 dollars uh, front end high wheel line trimmer is a lot less or four hundred dollar is a lot less than a you know twenty thousand dollar tractor so you know i mean it's, and it's the other thing you ain't gonna mow this down i don't care how good your uh, zero turn is or whatever that stuff is thick so, so you'd tear your lawnmower up trying to go through this so this is a perfect tool for doing this and for clearing trails and things like that so if you ever wondered about how to do that there's your thing and so we primarily wanted to do a video about this and about what we use um, to clear this stuff out. We will be putting up another video on uh, the food plot, the Evolved Harvest Throw and Grow. Um, we showed you guys a few minutes ago. We're going to put that out. We'll probably shoot that in pieces so we can see how it grows and then uh, put the video together. That way you guys can see start to finish on how well it did. All right. Um, but until then, we do thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, give us a big thumbs up, share the videos, leave a comment below, tell everybody about us. We want that algorithm to get in YouTube's uh, database so that they start suggesting us uh, on other videos and everything. We would not have a channel without you guys. We thank you, we love you, and remember, this is God's country. God bless. Have